Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trance channel where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to install VMware tools on a Mac VM. This download VMware tools ISO you can download that from numerous places look around you can load the VMware tools ISO into VMware and we're going to do it this way we're going to go to edit virtual machine settings and then we're going to pick on the uh, CD DVD drive and then we're going to select the ISO file for the CD drive I've downloaded VMware tools and there we go. That's done. Then all we have to do is boot into the system. So what we'll do is we'll boot into 10 oh, Mac OS 10.15 Catalina and the VMware Workstation Player. All right, play that machine. And what should happen is it should boot up into, you know, um, the, the normal Mac OS Catalina environment. And we should be good to go and we'll proceed with the installation of VMware tools. It takes a minute for this to load. Um, I don't know what I could do to make it boot faster on my system. Maybe if I could give it more resources, but I have four gig of memory on it and I have two processors on the minimal, but hey. <laughs> So when this loads up, then we'll be able to get into the operating system and then we'll be able to make the necessary changes in order to get VMware tools installed. All right, so I'll just log in as me. Then uh, we'll load up the desktop. All right, give it a second. I had to speed some of this up. So next we're gonna access VMware tools in the Mac OS. It should have mounted and everything, so we'll follow the prompts. Um, we're gonna do the installation. This is the installation phase of the project. All right. So we see that that VMware disk, the VMware tools is mounted. You could either click on that or you can um, just go as I'm doing it into the section there and mount it from there. And of course, you know, these messages pop up linked to my phone, which is really neat. All right, so we'll run the VMware tools installation. And then this will guide us through the installation process. It will take a minute and it will reboot the system several times. So I'll just go ahead and hit continue. Going to use 7.4 megabytes of additional disk space. And you just have to say continue installing. And because it's making a new change or installing new software, you would enter your password again. Okay. And it's a pretty quick installation process from what I see. It has a reigning time less than a minute. Okay, so after it does this, it's probably going to reboot the system like a couple of times or something of that nature. We'll let this finish, and, and unfortunately, the system extension was blocked. So I have to open the security preferences again and, uh, you know, make sure that I allow the extension to proceed forward. That's probably what slowed this down a little bit. 
the system software developer VMware Inc was being blocked. So I'm going to go back to the general tab and I'm going to click allow. But before I click allow, I want to click on the lock at the lower left corner and enter my password. Okay, so we'll unlock it. We'll allow it. And then we'll proceed with the installation. The installation was successful. And it's going to do a restart. The restart is going to be fairly lengthy. I ended up having to speed up the restart process because it took a little longer than I would care to, to you know, making this video. And it'll say like it's going to take like a quarter, or, you know, three quarters of an hour or so. But it, it took like 30 minutes, if that. And I don't have the top of the line hardware for the machine. So I just kind of have to, you know, let it be patient and roll with it. Okay, so it's going to reboot the system again. And it's going to complete the process slowly but surely. We're going to log in again. And that took a long time. All right, so we're logged in. Next thing I want to do is try to get to settings and see what I can do about the display. See if I can get it to take up the full screen. Because that's what you're going to need VMware tools to be able to do. Is take up the full screen. So I'm going to leave it. I tried scaled, but there's no option to scale it. So I'm going to leave it default for display as far as resolution is concerned. And then I'm just going to maximize the window. And lo and behold, everything took. It looks beautiful. I can't complain about it. And then I have, you know, a wonderful environment in which to explore the Mac operating system. So it was somewhat of an exhaustive process, but we finally got it done. So that's all I have to say. I want to say thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Like the video on your way in and out. And leave a comment if you have any questions and stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.